All right, good morning. So all of you know how to add, but I don't think many of you at all yet know how to do addition in binary. But the good news is it's pretty much identical. In fact, it's easier to add in binary than it is to add in deanery. Deanery is base 10 because you've got 10 fingers. And for some reason, well, probably for that reason, we use base 10. But binary is even simpler. We only have base 2, as in 0 and 1, because we can switch electricity on, 1, and off, 0. So, today we are going to add together two positive 8-bit binary numbers. So, class charts positive. What is the smallest positive 8-bit binary number, and what is the largest 8-bit positive binary number? So, yeah, anything from 0, as in 4 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, up to eight ones, one, 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 which is 255. We need to know what an overflow error is and why it's a bad thing and what happens if we have an overflow error and what causes one. Um, yep, so basically we've got to add together in binary, blah, 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 blah. This is all you need to remember. And it's not rocket science, although it has significant implications in rocket science because rockets have been known to blow up if we get it wrong, literally. So if you can remember that 0 plus 0 is 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1, you can do binary addition. However, we need to know that 1 plus 1 is not 2. 1 plus 1 is 2 in binary, and 2 in binary, we haven't got the 2 squiggle, the 2 like that, because we've only got 0 and 1. So we have to represent 2 with two digits, as in a, a 1 and a 0. So we'll talk about what that means later. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, but we can't write 3 in binary without using 1s and zeros. So 3 in binary is 1, 1, or 1 carry 1. So let's look at some examples. You know already that if you were to do this in maths, you'd line them up and you'd do column addition. You'd do 1 plus 4 is 5. And it's exactly the same in binary. You write them in binary in columns. So that's worth 1, that's worth 2, that's worth 4, and that's worth 8. But you just deal with the ones and zeros. And you say, 1 plus 0, easy, 1. 0 plus 0, easy, 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, and 0 plus 0 is 0. Convert them all to, by, sorry, to deanery, and we've got the answer. So no surprises here. However, it's slightly more challenging when you've got two ones. Because two ones added together is two, but you can't write two in binary. So you do one zero, or zero, carry the one to the next bit. Okay, so I need you to get your revision notebooks open. I need you to get a pen open while I set up my visualizer to do some examples here. So if we do addition in deanery, so you don't need to write this bit down yet. Let's do three plus two. In math, since primary school, you line them up and you add them up. Three plus two is five, dead easy. It's ever so slightly more complicated if we have two numbers which when you add them up together, get to be more than 10, as in 7 plus 4 is 11. How do we write that? Well, it's 1, carry that 10. It's exactly the same as what we're used to. So let's do a slightly more complicated one. Let's do 103 plus 249. Just what you've seen at primary already. 3 plus 9 is 12, so 2 carry that 10 over here to the next digit. 4 plus 0 is 4, but we have to add that carry, don't we? So it becomes 5. No surprises here, you've done this since primary school. 1 plus 2, without any carry here, is just 3. And I hope, if I've got it right, it'd be embarrassing if I've got it wrong, that that should be the answer. Any, anyone disagree? Good. So in binary, it's the same, but we've only got two digits instead of 10 digits. As in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's 10 to choose from. In binary, there's only 0 and 1. So if we have 1, 0, 1, 1, add 0, 0, 0, 1, you've got two choices. You could convert them both to deanery and add them together, which you should be able to do in your head. Or we can add them in binary. And for your GCSE, you need to be able to do both. And it's useful to do both so that you can check that you've got it right. So let's see. I'm going to pause the video because you're going to get a class charts positive for working through the logic. Here we go. So we've gone through each of these. 1 plus 1 is 2, which is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus that carry was 
2. So that's 0, carry the 1. 0 plus 0 plus the carry is 1, with no carry. And then we've got 1 plus 0, which is just 1. Let's check it. So the binary digits start on the right and are worth twice as much, not 10 times as much. We're not going units, tens, or hundreds, or thousands, which multiplies by 10 each time. We're multiplying, we're multiplying by 2 each time. So this time, we've got 1 plus 2 plus 8, which is 11. And we've just got 1. And if we add those together, we should get 12, which we do, because we've got 8 plus 4 is 12. So no change, no surprises. Binary addition is actually easier, because all you need to remember is 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, as in 1, 0. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, which is 1, 1. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's... You don't need to write your working out on the Word document, but I do expect you to see the working out in your book. Line things up in columns. So what do we have to do here? Binary to deanery is going to be 1 plus 2, 4, 8. That's going to be 9 plus 3. And then you do the working out underneath. What is 1 plus 1? Well, that is 1 with a 1 carried. So you don't need to put all the carries on Word. That's going to be irritating. You do your working out on paper and you just write your answer in the Word document. Okay? You've got your screens back, or at least you will do very soon. This is P4 half term 1. So we're going to go through this one here. We're hoping that the answer's 8. But let's see. Um, let's pop that over here. And then hopefully we'll be able to see both at the same time. Just pause for a minute. Um, so, we have 0110 zero, zero plus 0010. Zero, zero, zero. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. That's 0 carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 0 carry 1. And then just the 1 in here. Um, so... For the binary, I can write 1, 0, 0, 0. And then I need to do the deanery. So that's going to be 2 plus 4 is 6. And then underneath it, we've just got 2. And 6 plus 2 is 8, which is also how much this bit is worth. So yes, well done. The answer is 8. All right, so for activity 2, it mentions a calculator. Um, you know you've got that calculator button on your keyboard, and some people mash it, and it's really irritating, so don't do that. Um, but it says... Uh, open it up and switch to the programmer view, which allows you to convert between binary and deanery. So we've got the standard view at the moment. I want the programmer view. Um, and in the programmer view, you can type in binary, octal, decimal, or hexadecimal. At GCSE, we know about binary. We already know about decimal. It's another word for deanery. We haven't talked about hexadecimal yet, but we will. Um, and we don't actually teach about octal, but you can guess it's the same kind of thing. It's just base 8 instead of base 2 or base 10. So we need binary. It's um, programmer and then binary. Let's pop that over here so we can see both at the same time. We need to add these numbers together. Where there's a gap, it's just to split a byte, 8 bits, into nibbles. You don't need to put the gap in. You just type them in. 1100, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, plus the rest, and you can work out the rest from there. You've got your screens. Let's give it a try. So it talks about an overflow. We need to know what we mean by an overflow here. So I'm just going to go through on um, on paper for now what we mean by the overflow. 11000111, one, one, zero, 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 one, 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 that's the top number. 1111, one, one, one. oops, it must be lined up. It's hard to do that when you're looking at the wrong thing. 0100. Zero, zero, zero. Let's add them up. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, which is 0, carry the 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, and then I've got a 1, a 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, which is 0, carry 1, and here I've got 1 plus 1 plus the carry 1, that's 3, which is 1, carry a 1. That is the overflow, that's what it's talking about in this question. What did the calculator do with the overflow? Where did the overflow bit appear? This means if you've got a bit, 8 bits, to store it in your computer, that means you've got a capacitor to store charge and a transistor to work as a digital switch. You've got 8 of those, 
eight little individual memory cells. You haven't got nine. You can't store that anywhere. It's overflowed. It's lost. You've only got eight bits to store a byte. So let's go back to the calculator and see how it handled it. Well, to begin with, it wasn't really a problem. It just said 11000111 plus 11110100. Oh, hang on. What happened here? 11000111 plus 11110100 equals. And it didn't really work all that well. Let's make sure that instead of a Q word, we do it as a byte. What do we mean here? Well, a byte is 8 bits, a word is 16 bits, and a D word is um, double that, and a Q word is double that again. So I only want 8 bits. Let's try it again this time. 11000111 plus 11110100. Are you ready? I'm about to press enter. That is not the result. That is not what we'd expect here, because we've lost that extra bit here. That might not sound dramatic. 1996. Here we go. Quite a long time ago, but the European Space Agency launched the Ariane 5. This is a big deal. The Ariane 5 is designed to carry large, expensive scientific and commercial So when you think of space exploration, you think of Russia, and you think of NASA, perhaps China, perhaps India. This was Europe's attempt at sending a rocket. The Ariane 5 rocket carries no astronauts. Thankfully, it wasn't manned. It was going to do loads of unmanned scientific experiments. The rocket clears the tower and accelerates smoothly. And then the rocket abruptly changes direction starts to break apart and suddenly explodes. Less than a minute after launch, huge chunks and glowing fragments of Ariane Flight 501 rain down over the launch area. A shocking disaster for Ariane and the ESA. The cause? A simple, utterly avoidable coding bug. I'm just going to pause there. You can find out for yourself exactly what went wrong and what overflowed, but for now it's sufficient to, re to know that if you don't handle that overflow bit carefully, then suddenly your large number becomes either a negative number or a very small number, which is what happened. The rocket was going up straight. Suddenly it veered off course because it thought the acceleration and the, um, the bearing that it was going in wasn't what it was supposed to be because of that overflow. And to, to protect everything, it caused a self-destruct and it ended. Absolutely essential that you understand what an overflow bit is. Is. I'm going to give you your screens back so you can answer the questions. So we're moving on to activity three. If there's an overflow, just make sure you put that overflow in here. There is space in this grid to show your work in, but as long as your working is on paper, I'm happy. Remember, in your exam, you do not have a calculator, so you should not use a calculator for activity three. You use it for activity two, but not activity three, please. So here's our extension today. Can you write a program that asks the user to type in an 8-bit number in binary, as in 0000000001, 000 000 000 000 000 000 and another 8-bit binary number, like 1111, 1111? It should then add them together and show the result in binary and in deanery. How could you do this? Well, you don't know enough Python yet if you're just going on what I've taught you in lessons to be able to do this. So you can either search. This is a problem that's been solved millions of times before someone will have a solution you can ask ai this is the type of thing that chat gpt will be able to do in its sleep will it do it accurately there's only one way to find out how do you access chat gpt the easiest way is to open edge um and then when you've got rid of the annoying privacy messages and things open the bing thing here and type it in and it will generate some python code for you you're not allowed to do that in your on-screen exam obviously but this is not an exam and i'd be interested to see if it can do it Will it work? Here's your challenge. So when you finish the worksheet, please remember to save the Word document and we upload it to Half Term 1 Data 1 Byte.